partner up here. His name is Leslie. Let's hear it. Clap it up. Come on. Good, 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 good. I was expecting some. I was expecting something louder than this, though. Please, can you clap again? All right. Okay, so uh, it's my first time in America. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm coming all the way from Africa. To... Those not clapping. Are you racist? Why are you not clapping? <laughs> and uh, I'm having a few uh, culture shock because uh, you guys um, have never seen white in bulk before. <laughs> when I s in Africa, when I see about 2,000 um, blacks, then I see about two whites. Over here, I'm seeing many whites, just a few blacks. But I had that same shock when I saw one white guy who came to Ghana the first time at the airport. He was like, wow, a lot of dark guys. He said, wow, we are in dark times. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. I'm short. I'm very short. And I, I'm here to tell every short guy here, there are things that we shouldn't do. Like short guys can multitask during sex. We can't multitask. My accent worries you, huh? I'm trying. <laughs> I love you too. Short guys cannot multitask. You know, like, you'll be inside your girl, and she tells you that, babe, hold my nipple. You know? Because by the time we stretch to the hold the nipple, the dick too will be out. <laughs> How did I know I'm short? One time I was making love with my girl, she said, babe, give me head. You know, go down on me, you know? And I was doing that, but ideally, she's supposed to hold my head whilst I do it. But she could hold my waist. For a minute, I felt like a dildo. <laughs> so I started giving her the dildo, so I was in between her tight and I was doing zzz, zzz. <laughs> Have you ever, have you ever, have you ever, boss? I don't know, what, what are you going through in life? I want us to share so we help you out. You've not been laughing since. Okay, so let me just, all right. Have you ever made love with a girl and uh, you're about to come, but she's saying, oh, babe, don't come, don't come. But in your head, there's a voice telling you, you have one minute to remain. <laughs> <laughs> one time, one time, I made love with this girl, you know, I made love with this girl. And after we all came, she brought out a sheet. And on top of the sheet, she has written bucket list. And she ticked midget. <laughs> <laughs> Guess who the midget is? <laughs> so, I mentioned cultural shock. Huh? Uh, there are a lot of things you guys do that Africa, to us, it's not normal. Like, you don't beat your kids. <laughs> you guys, you don't beat your kids. What? <laughs> you know, in Africa, um, my, for instance, let me use my, my dad. My dad, we have three types of fathers. Fathers who beat you because you deserve to be punished and fathers who beat you because they don't have money, so they want to put fear in you, so that you don't come asking them things they can't afford. And some beat you because they find it as a hobby. They can see you in the morning like, why are you sitting on the couch, fool, get up. <laughs> My dad was doing two years, beating me as a hobby because he didn't have money. I came to your mall, I saw one kid misbehaving. I don't know, you guys don't see it as misbehavior. In Africa, that's misbehavior. Daddy, daddy, I want apple. That is a good get apple. Daddy, daddy, I want ice cream. That is a get ice cream. Daddy. Because my dad home, he will beat you before we leave to the mall. <laughs> we are going to the mall. Your foolishness. If you go me. <laughs> so when I get to the mall, I focus, you know. <laughs> I don't go picking things I don't have to pay. He can't pay. Thank you so much for having us. I'm calling my next comedian also from